Topping off our morning rush this morning, two investigations underway after another shooting on the campus of an Albuquerque school. Police say some young adults were walking from Sandia High to the parking lot of Christ Lutheran School where they started a fight. One of them pulled out a gun. A short time later, a gunshot wound victim showed up at UNMH. Police are working to confirm if the victim or the suspects were students. Starting tomorrow, thousands of New Mexicans will no longer be getting unemployment benefits. Businesses are now hoping that this will mean more people will start filling the open positions. However, ec economic experts say that other states that have already pulled back the unemployment benefits have not seen a huge increase in people going back to work. The man charged in the shooting of the APD officers is now facing federal charges. Investigators say James Ramirez and another man robbed a team near Central and Juan Bow. When officers caught up with the team near the Dutch Bros, they say that Ramirez opened fire. We know he's been charged on the federal level, but specific charges are still sealed. The aftermath of Hurricane Ida for residents along the East Coast continues as more than four dozen people are dead this morning. The storm dumped upwards of 10 inches of rain on parts of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Twisters also touched down in Maryland and New Jersey, prompting the National Weather Service to issue its first ever tornado emergency for that area. Erica. And here's a look at the school day forecast. It is a comfortable, cool start to the day. We should be warming up soon. And then temps will be in the mid 80s this afternoon. We'll be staying dry through the end of the school day. After a second appeal hearing, the city clerk is once again denying Sheriff Manny Gonzalez's $600,000 in public financing to run for mayor. The clerk says there is compelling evidence that Gonzalez's campaign forged signatures and fronted donations that were supposed to be coming from voters. Over a dozen Democratic state lawmakers are trying to tackle some of the state's biggest crime problems. One area of focus is gun violence. Lawmakers want parents to better control guns around their kids. Now, the bill would also reportedly make changes to pretrial detention services after heavy criticism from both APD and the Bernalillo County DA. Moderna is asking the FDA for clearance to use a third booster dose of its COVID 19 vaccine. Currently, the FDA is considering booster shots of the Pfizer vaccine. However, they've only allowed people with weakened immune systems to receive the third dose. Not clear whether the agency will discuss Moderna's application. Erica. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. Low to moderate today. We'll have a chance for a couple evening showers after six. That's it. New Mexico hospitals are bracing for a surge of more COVID patients in the coming weeks. Many facilities have already been repurposing areas and are shifting rooms to make space for patients. Officials say that they expect the peak of number of hospitalizations and deaths to come later on this month. The nation's top Democrats are speaking out this morning after a Supreme Court decision not to block a Texas law banning abortions after six weeks. The Texas law bans abortion after about six weeks of pregnancy. The House will vote on legislation to guarantee access to abortion upon its return to D.C. later on this month. Well, the list of potential names for the Bioparks baby hippo is getting shorter. The Bioparks Society announced the name Zia is out of the running. Officials say that they made the decision out of respect after talking with the Zia Pueblo. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. We are looking clear on the roads this morning. No accidents or slowdowns to tell you about. And here's a look at Tracker going east on I-40 near Rio Grande. We are seeing some cars out on the roads, but no slowdowns just yet. Well, the world is one step closer to commercial supersonic air travel. The company Boom Supersonic is promising that pla promising planes rather that travel faster than the speed of sound, cutting international flight times in half. Once the company's small aircraft, the XB-1, is tested, Boom is going to start building a larger passenger plane called the Overture. Welcome back. On this day in 2011, Roswell broke a heat record for the most consecutive days with high temperatures above 90 degrees. The record came to 102-day stretch, which is 30 days longer than the previous record. Time for the five facts. We start with number five here. If you're passing through Madrid, be on the lookout for a tortoise named Frankie who's been missing for four days now. His owners say he's a gentle giant weighing 125 pounds, but he's known for being an escape artist. Frankie's an African spurred tortoise, one of the largest in the world. He was adopted by the Chu family who lives in Madrid. At number four, the city of Santa Fe is asking for help restoring an art installation. The piece by artist Jose Lucero, known to many as Picasso Santero, is now made of seven dead trees in West Alameda Park. Well, the problem is that the trees have started to continue to rot. Two of them have fallen down, and Lucero is now working to replace them with new sculptures. The city's also asking, or raising money rather, to restore the remaining angels. And at number three, we'll be seeing some storms in southeastern New Mexico today and some spotty showers for the western high terrain. The metro could see a shower during the evening. And number two, and number two starting tomorrow, thousands of New Mexicans will no longer be getting unemployment benefits. Businesses are hoping that this will mean more people will start filling the open positions. 
For the past few months, businesses have been getting creative to find ways to attract new employees. Some have even increased their wages. Still, economic experts say other states that have already pulled back on employment benefits have not seen a huge increase in people going back to work, as some people are still not comfortable in close contact positions. Number one, this morning, two investigations underway after another shooting on the campus of an Albuquerque school. One of the investigations is to determine if students from two schools were involved. A panicked preschool dad captured video of the chaos while calling 911 in the parking lot at the Christ Lutheran School. Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina says that young adults were seen walking from Sandia High, then cross the street to the parking lot of Christ Lutheran School, where he says they began a fight. One of them then pulled out a gun. A short time after that, a gunshot wound victim showed up at UNMH. Again, police are working to confirm the identities of the suspects and the victim.